Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code challenge day by day. In day three, we're getting started with conditional statements. Our task here is to evaluate an integer n and perform the following actions based on several conditions. First, if n is odd, we will print weird. If n is even and inclusive in the range 2 to 5, print not weird. If n is even and in the inclusive range of 6 to 20, print weird. If n is even and greater than 20, print not weird. HackerRank is going to give us an integer in as the input that's going to be between 1 and 100. And we need to print weird or not weird based on what the input is. So here are some example inputs. The first sample is 3. We know that 3 is odd, so we will immediately print weird. In the second test case, they give us 24. 24 is not odd, so we won't print weird immediately. It is also not in the range 2 to 5, and it is not in the range 6 to 20. So we should print not weird. Great. Now that we understand the problem and know our approach, let's dive into the code. So here you can see that HackerRank has already given us uh, some sample code to get the value of n from the input. We're going to use if statements to determine what we should be printing out. So the first condition was if n was odd. So if n is odd, we want to print weird. And the way we do that is we do n mod 2. So n mod 2, which means the remainder when n is divided by 2. So if the remainder when n is divided by 2 is 0, that means it's even. And if n's remainder divided by 2 is 1, that means it's odd. So for example, 3 divided by 2 has a remainder of 1. That's how we know it's odd. So we will print weird. In the second condition, they said that if n is between 2 and 5, print not weird. So the following cases for that would be if n is 2, 3, 4, or 5. But we know that if n is odd, we're already going to print weird. So the only cases that matter are 2 and 4, uh, which are cases that n is less than 5. So here, if n is 1 or 3, we're going to print weird already. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, that's because that's already caught in this part of the if-else chain. So here we'll just print not weird. Next statement is that if n is even and inclusive in the range 6 to 20, print weird. So we'll do another lift statement. If n is less than or equal to 20, we'll print weird. The reason we don't need to add 6 in here is because we already have cases where n is less than 5 satisfied by this statement. And the reason we don't need to check for if n is even is because we're already doing that in this first part here. Finally, for all other cases, we'll print not weird. So for anything greater than 20 and even will print not weird. So everything that's odd is already covered by the first case. Everything that's under 20 is covered by the second and third case. All right, let's test against the test cases that HackerRank gave us. Looks good. So you can see for three, we printed weird. 
And for 24, we printed not weird. So let's submit our code and see how we did. Awesome, it looks like we passed all the test cases. Thanks for following along. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed yesterday's video, please click here to review it or click here to view the full HackerRank 30 Days of Code Challenge. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below with what problems you would like me to solve. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.